This question is taken from the Associated Board Grade 5 Theory Practice Paper 2020 and it's in the new multiple choice format. In Grade 5 you may be asked to choose suitable chords at cadential points of a simple melody in the major keys of C, G, D or F. The possible chords are 1, 2, 4 and 5 and the cadences covered in this grade are the perfect cadence, chord 5 followed by chord 1, the plagal cadence, chord 4 followed by chord 1, and the imperfect cadence, which is any chord followed by chord 5, although in this grade the first chord will be either 1, 2 or 4. The first thing to do is on a blank piece of paper, draw a stave. Put the key signature in. This melody is in G major. And then write out a G major scale. The four possible chords are chords 1, 2, 4 and 5. So write those chords in. Chord 1 is a G major chord. Chord 2 is an A minor chord. Chord 4 is a C major chord. And chord 5 is a D major chord. With questions about cadences, I always like to look at the last chord first. So let's take the first line and look at the second chord in the cadence. And there are two notes in this bar, the notes D and F sharp. Now because the D moves by leap to the F sharp, this means that both of those notes are chord notes. So you need to look at the possible chords and see which one of those chords contains both the notes D and F sharp. Well, chord one, the G major chord, does contain the D but not the F sharp. Chord two doesn't contain any of those notes. Chord four doesn't contain any of those notes, but chord five contains both of those notes and therefore that chord can only be chord 5. So we write that in the box. Let's look at the chord before it. Now the first note, the A, moves to the E by leap. So once again this is telling you that those two notes are chord notes. So let's look at the possible options and see which of them contains both those notes. The G major chord, chord 1, doesn't contain any of them. Chord 2 contains both of them. Let's just check the others. Chord 4 contains the E but not the A. And chord 5 contains the A but not the E. So the answer is chord 2. So I write that in the box. Let's just check the other notes in that bar make sure that they do work with the chord 2. The next note after the E is D. Now because the E moves by step to the D and we already know that the E is a chord note that means that the D must be a passing note. Put a letter P above it. A passing note remember is a note that moves by step from one chord note to another chord note a third away. So the E drops down to the C, which is a third, and the D is a passing note in between them. The C is another chord note, and again, yes, that is part of chord two. Let's look at the uh, second line, and again, we're going to start with the final chord. We have B moving up by a leap to D, moving down to G by a leap. So we have three notes there, all of which are chord notes. 
And when we look at the possible answers, chord one contains all three of those notes. So we don't really need to look any further there. That can only be chord one. So we write that in the box. Let's look at the bar before. So we have E, uh, sorry, C moving to E by leap. So they are chord notes. Once again, we've got D moving by step from the E, which must be a passing note again, which then goes to C, which is another chord note. And then the C moves by leap to the G. So the G is a chord note. So we have three chord notes, C, E and G. And there is only one of the four chords which contains all those notes, and that is chord four. So we write four in there. Now, let's look at the bar before that. We have B, another B, moving by a leap to G, which then moves by a leap to D. So again, we have three notes, which must all be chord notes. And there is only one chord out of the four possible answers which contains all those three notes. It is chord one. So we're writing one in the box. And there we have it.